Mexico and the U.S. this week are struggling to deal with the new influx of migrants headed to the U.S. border, saturating facilities, putting a strain on law enforcement, and increasing tensions between the two countries. Mexican President Andres Manuel López Obrador, in a recent morning press conference, shared that Biden's policies are a reason why people are coming across the border. Se crearon expectativas acerca de que con el gobierno del presidente Biden iba a haber un mejor trato a los migrantes. Y esto pues eh, ha este, originado el que migrantes centroamericanos y también de nuestro país quieran cruzar la frontera pensando de que es más fácil hacerlo. So basically he said that because Biden's a nice guy and Biden's policies are friendly that people are coming across. Well, today Biden in his first press conference as president, which was primarily focused on the issue at the border, didn't agree with that sentiment. I guess I should be flattered people are coming because I'm the nice guy. That's the reason why it's happening, that I'm a decent man or however it's phrased. That, you know, that's why they're coming, because, no, Biden's a good guy. Truth of the matter is, nothing has changed. As many yes, nothing has changed. He's right. This has been a problem for some time, and for some reason, AMLO struck a different tone with Trump, and it concerns Biden a lot. What about dealing with families? Why are not some not going back? Because Mexico is refusing to take them back. They're saying they won't take them back, not all of them. We're in negotiations with the president of Mexico. I think we're going to see that change. Yeah, isn't this weird that when Trump was around, things were a little bit easier and policies were a little bit different. Now when Biden's in charge, has switched. It's interesting. The news media is somehow making it out that there are hundreds of thousands of babies in detention centers. Like when I have strong nightmares that I'm surrounded by thousands of babies with dirty diapers, I need daddy. And as the president pointed out, it's just not true. And it is to deal with a five and six and seven year old. But you went down there and you saw the vast majority of these children, 70 percent are 16 years old, 17 years old. See, so most of the people, 75% of the children or the minors that are coming across are 17 and 18 years old. I'm not saying that there are not small children without their families. There are a lot of them as well. But this is an ongoing humanitarian crisis, and Biden attempted in the conference for Americans to be sympathetic to the plight of the migrant. In Mexico or in, in Guadalupe saying, I got a great idea. Let's sell everything we have. Give it to a coyote. Have them take our kids across the border into the desert where they don't speak the language. Won't that be fun? Let's go. That's not how it happens. Guadalupe, by the way, I think he meant Guadalajara, right? Yeah, yeah he's 78. It's okay. The president also moved this week to put Vice President Kamala Harris in charge of the administration's effort on the border and specifically asked her to work with Central American countries to ask for their help as well. A very challenging task indeed. We are going to continue to monitor this issue at The Gringo Show, so stay with us in the coming weeks.